What's up, Trios Tribe? Bringing you guys uh, something something special, something neat. Uh, the Neopets card game came out in the United States <laughs> by Upper Deck. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there is, I don't know what spoke to me. I, I am uh, I am a, a diagnosed millennial, and it is a terminal condition. I <laughs> I remember playing Neopets as a kid in, in elementary school. I collected, or I, I had my Kiri, I had my Shoryu, and you know, Neopets has always been like, just like that that cool memory I've had of childhood, and now that I'm like a YouTuber and I can write these off on my texts a little bit, <laughs> I, I thought it'd be, I, I saw the Neopets card game come out and it actually looked kind of fun, it looked fun, neat, casual, like whichever way you want to look at it, so. Um, yeah, it's, they're by, it's by Upper Deck, it seems like a fun, like just really RNG based game. There's two starter decks. We won't really go into it now, but we they come with uh, 55 cards, 10 dice. Uh, so that's cool. Batteries included. It is it is when I say it's an RNG game, uh, you definitely need to be rolling a lot of dice. So I don't know. It's a uh, uh, here's my uh, yeah, I guess consider this my advertisement for the game. The the booster box is a little like if we're if we're all used to how Bandai does things, the ban the booster box is a little expensive. Eight cards per pack, twenty four uh, cards per pack or packs per box. Where the the pack count is the same as Bandai but less cards, right? So uh, and for the box was about the same price, right? So it's it's a little it's a little pricey, um, and I. I, I I feel like the pool. I feel like band after after we go some through some pools here, um, we'll we'll still like Bandai will still maintain its spot as the best the best company in terms of just buying just buying a box, right? I feel like uh, since since the beginning, I've oh no, there's a I did not plan for this. Oh dear, I try. Oh there we go, sick. Um. Yeah, I just feel like Bandai has historically just been one of the best companies to pull boxes for um, in, car in any, any of their card games. Their pull rates compared to anything, Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, I can always recommend somebody buy a box of uh, a Bandai game. Uh, I, I, I can't complain about that. But uh, yeah, Defenders of Neopia. We got a Judge Hog on the pack. Let's see. All right, there's no pull tab, so that's awful. Oh man, this is, oh boy, should I get scissors? Would it be, would it be gross to get scissors in my videos? Or do you guys rather see me struggle? All right, all right. ooh, the backs are, the backs are a little, you guys can't probably see it. Actually, you can see it kind of there. The backs are textured, so good, good card quality, like card stock quality. Um, upper deck, you know, their logo kind of ruins the vibe, I feel a little bit. And then the Neopet symbol on the bottom. So let's flip it over. We got, uh, oh my god. <laughs> we got the, uh, Pant Devil's Evil Twin. That's funny. We got Airy. Okay, so some of the mechanics of Neopets is, uh, this, this is a basic Neopet, right? It's a little bit like Pokemon. You have a Neopet you gotta battle with. I'll, I'll do some starter deck battles which I help teach people, but this Airy is a just like base level Pokemon or base level Neopet. And it can come in red, blue, yellow, and green. And they're, they're technically different cards because they do have different stats. So the red one will have a bonus of one attack, uh, the blue one, and you can imagine color coded from their blue defense, yellow agility, green HP. But it's cool that we got Airy. Ooh, red scorch stone. Oh, we got a tech up! And it's foil! Oh, the foil link's not that bad in this game. Look at that. And you see how he's, I believe, green. It's a, no, he's yellow. This guy's yellow. We're gonna go with yellow. Oh, the bread master! Look at him. Oh, the foil link's so good on this. Oh, and then we got the ghost Lupe. It's a legend card. Um, the uh, eyes of the of dark. And then Zen. Uh, so... The way the game kind of works out is like you want a bunch of code cards and then the code, these are code stones. So you want a bunch of code stones to level up your Neopet and then equip them with armor. We'll get into paint brushes. Like, because if you guys remember Neopets, you can paint your Neopet certain colors to give them uh, colors, right? You can give them a fairy paintbrush and that's a color and it sort of changes your Neopet. Um, you get abilities and stats based on that kind of stuff. We got a blue Uzi. Uzul? Uzul. 
Calvara. Nice. Ooh, see, this is what I'm saying. This is the green airy. And we'll go back and try to find the red one. See? So, plus one attack on the red one, and then plus two health on the green one. Oh, so you get slightly more health than, than stats. So, oh, wow. So maybe that's, an, that's an interesting if you want to be more, like, defensive. Uh, ridiculously heavy battle hammer. That's some nice. Ooh, we got us. We got, okay, so this is our first painted Neopet, Waki. Um, has a special effect. So wait, basically this is this game's like Digivolve mechanic. Like you can, you start off as a normal Waki, and then if you draw into your paintbrush, you can paintbrush it, and then automatically pull this guy out from your extra deck. And oh, same with the Shoryu, fire. Um, same idea, you just gotta get the fire paintbrush. You can, if you have a Shoryu out, you pull out the fire paintbrush, and then you just, you just have at it. Um, Really cool. I've really, the foiling is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, I'm really happy with that. Uh, Sarah and Daisy. And then uh, Takai. Takai? Ta Kai? Coatstone? Coatstone. Um, yeah. So far, so good. I don't. Uh, the packs are making it make me go slower as it is. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to bend something. It's not great. Maybe I should get, I, maybe I should get scissors. Um, what do we got? We got a Nixie. We got a camouflage hot dog. Can, actually, in this game, the food, this is a food. Uh, uh, they're in, if you guys are familiar with magic, uh, this is in, like instant uh, instant, instant spells. Um, you're allowed to use these whenever. You can use as many as you want per turn, as long as you have them in your hand, right? Um, and you, it's, it's, it's player, uh, it's interaction, which is really interesting to actually see cards uh, a game that's supposed to be fun and simple, have interaction. The starry paintbrush, see? And a coke stone. Only one foil in that pack. I feel, oh no, there was two. The Calvara, Calvara had a, it was foil. It was just really dark. Um, oh man. Maybe I should, I really, maybe I should get a... Lupe! Yay! I, I wanted to get a Lupe, so we're pretty happy to see that guy. We got a Minchi. We got Castralis. Uh, Bruce Avenger, foil, and then Mammoth, fun, Shield of Reflection, uh, the Masked Intruder, and then Bree, Coatstone. Uh, so far, the, the Coatstones, uh, uh, as far as I understand, you can have as many as you want of any particular Coatstone, so, um, they all boost your, they all have boost your stat by one, and you're allowed to play one every turn to help level up your Neopet in a battle. Oh, Blue Walkie. Gilbert, Aisha, uh, yeah, Fiora's Elixir, that's fun. Um, Blade of Supernova, I feel like that's a good card. And Bloody, uh, Bloodberry Elixir, Jadora's Chris Coin, and Vo. You see how Vo, I feel like the previous Coast Stones were all agility, Vo plus use your defense by one. Maybe I should open it. You guys, would you guys want me to open up the starter decks? I really don't think there's a point in opening up the starter decks, but could be wrong. From my understanding, your starter deck cards are kind of just worse than main set cards. Oh, we got a Foils We Talk. This is one of the ones I was excited to, to get. Um, and then Iron Ski. Uh, freezing Potion. And then Fire Chia and Vo. So the last card of every pack seems to be a Code Stone. Which makes sense. It's, it's kind of like a Dawn in One Piece or the memories, the memory gauge in uh, Digimon. Just kind of, kind of need a ton of them or or land. It's it's basically this game's version of land or uh, another. Oh, we got the red sweet talk. I hope we get the green one. That's really what I want. Yellow Uzi. Uh, ooh, foil Orn. Uh, and then a fairy Gilbert. Nice. Very exciting. Orger the Great. Barry, Legend card, and then Bree Codestone. So it looks like every pack, I, I feel like the first foil is like a foil that could be any card in the set. And then the second foil is actually like a super rare or something like that. So we'll see. Oh, we got a Kajink. We got green, finally. I've been waiting for a green. No, we, we had green airy, didn't we? Uh, we got a green Kajink. Uh, I was hoping for a green Lupe. Green, green Poogle works. Tai Kai. Oh, and then, oh, we got, oh, is this a foil, Takai? Oh, I think, no, this is just, this is foil Poogle, and then, 
Wait, a oh, fire paintbrush, diamond hot dog, and then har. Is this foil? I guess it it might be. It's just so dark you can't tell. Otherwise, we only got one foil this pack, which weird considering the pattern. And it, I think it advertises two foils per pack. Oh my god, my my position for deck or for for product openings has been pretty bad lately. I need a I need to get a more refined setup. I feel. Um, here we go. Uh, Oak Valley, blue airy. So we've done two, three airy colors so far. Ooh, foil Gilbert. And then Marina. Nice. Oh, this is the potion fairy. When you play a potion that requires a dex roll, the results are treated as a success. Ooh, Starry Uzi. Oozle. Uh, Mikua. And then e -O, e o E O. Code Stone. Uh, I know there's a couple of, like chase cards in the set. Uh, I believe you get one chase card per box. Um, the second hand, the second hand market's pretty bad right now since like this is this is a very niche game as it as it were. Yellow Ixy, Calistra, Poogle, Ooh, Foil Starry Poogle. Oh, Carvana's Marvelous Potion, nice. Purple Sticky Hand, Herbert Special Hot Dog, and Eo once again. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I really don't know what to say. I I, I haven't really played the game too much. I, I've kind of followed it, um, and I was just interested. I was, uh, I kind of, kind of. I, I like my little monster games, you know. And Neopets are kind of just monsters, right? Ooh, double red. So I read G Gilbert, Red Aisha, Bank Manager, Foil, Yellow Kachik, and then ooh, we got a Fairy Shoryu. Oh, that's so sick. Uh, cow. Kasulu and Har Codestone. Fun, fun. All right, now let's go into another pack. Well, I do like that every card can be foil. Um, kind of just helps the like the idea of blinging out your deck. Uh, I think that's Red Waki. Uh, Battle Hammer, Jub Jub, Horn, and then ooh, Ghost Ixie. I'm really hoping I get the the Ghost Lupe. That's like one of the best, the biggest cards I want. But uh, if we don't get it, it is what it is. I, that's life sometimes, you know. Um, I think that yeah, because I I know like getting like the secret rares is a real pain. Um, ooh, you find our first sure you, Scorchio, I should say. First cow as well. Oh, Chia. Oh, yellow or green? This is green, Aisha. Harry the Bloom Blump. Uh, Carvana Potion, Starry Walkie, and then Brie. Uh, yeah. Oh, I hope I get Starry Lupe. I, I kind of wanted more Lupes. I haven't gotten any of him. That's a little sad. So hopefully, green Lupe, we win. It's over. Uh, Corbat Defender. Oh, blue Shoryu. Uh, Jadora's Crystal Ball, Ghost Oozel, uh, Purple Boblum, Fire Lenny. That's a cool one. And then this like really cool dark Mao. Uh, so getting to the end of the box here, that's good. I wanted this to be a short video. The opening of the packs has been kind of arduous. Siona, another legend card. Oh, this has got to be Red, red Walkie. Uh, Battle Hammer, Exploding Potion, and Balthazar. Uh, nice. Uh, Tangle Net Gun, Lightning Lenny, EO, Code Stone. Uh, still no, still no textured rare. We'll see. Typically it's just like a rainbow rare for most people, so I expect to see like just, just exactly that. Uh, Sword, Shield of Scorching, Lenny, Hot Dog. Red Walkie Foil, and then Commemorative Battle Fairy Axe. Wow. Oh, we got the code card. I think you always get the code card. So you can actually scratch off this code card and then get an item in actual Neopets. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't play Neopets, but... Uh, oh, bye. <laughs> it's gone. It's on the floor. It's not coming back. Uh, so I don't know what I want to do with it. Maybe it, it, Maybe if, if this stuff like kicks off, I, I do giveaways or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping the single markets pick, I hoping, I'm hoping the singles market picks up so I can just kind of pick up the cards I want. 
Um, I'm definitely a believer in just doing that. Ooh, we got a, uh, this is a green oopsie. Walkie, green walkie, and then ghost jump jump. Uh, ghost Lupe sword, that's really cool. Dr. Flexo, and then a Lou code stone. Uh, still no starry Lupe is really sad, hopefully. Hopefully we pull starry Lupe, at least. It should be a common. I'm really hoping for ghost Lupe. That's the real one I want. Uh, Chersey, Airy. Oh, we got all the Aries, I think, at this point. Oh, and there's our texture rare, a Mohawk. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, look at him. That's cool. Not the one I wanted, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> uh, Dr. Death, Cow Defender, and then Orn Codestone. Um, so, we just got our hit. Now I'm just gonna. Oh, Tekko. There's still so many cards I haven't seen. Jade, Scorch Stone, Teeny Hot Dog, Fire, Gilbert. And then. Still got a chance for Ghost Lupe. That's really what I want. That's really what we're hoping for. Or, uh, Fairy Ixy. Or Fairies We Talk. I would love Fairies We Talk. Uh, free Vier Ververa. That's not looking good for either of our desired pools. Pools? Pools. Um, again, hopefully the single market kicks up because I. Not a, I'm not, not a fan of pack pulling. I'm tell you, I'm gonna be real. It was our first Zarafa, I feel. Jump, jump. Ooh, Judge Hog. Okay, so that was this is Judge Hog is now our other secret rare texture rare in this in the box. Um, yeah, not really what I wanted. I think in terms of the texture rares, I was really hoping for one of the fairies, but it is what it is. Mal Cold Stone. Um, yeah, no, I, I definitely, I feel like the fairies are the ones that are kind of crazy and hopefully you can, like, that's the one you're hoping to pull is either the, the fairy queen or Jadora. They're, they're very game changing cards. This is, it's probably one of the complaints I'm going to have in the future of this game is just like the access to some of these little crazier cards, Amulet of Chaos, and then fairy Lenny. Nice. Uh... uh... Yeah, and I, I just like if secret rares are that powerful, like I really, they, they it shouldn't be that hard to get. But uh, what can I, what can I do? Ah, oh, man, still no. And it's our last pack, so ah, bummer. Not gonna get the card we want. Uh, we're really hoping for Ghost Lupe. Clearly not gonna pull it now. Uh, Ghost Lupe, oh, Ghost Paintbrush, oh, oh, that's our only Ghost Paintbrush too. So we didn't even get the fairy paintbrush. We didn't even get the ghost. Uh, see what I mean? Uh, Bandai Bandai wins in terms of how good a deck is or how, how good pulling a box is because we didn't get we didn't even get we only got we only got one ghost paintbrush and we I don't think we pulled a fairy paintbrush at all. Meaning, if you wanted to play this game and you wanted to try playing with uh, either either paint like either like so there's two real two archetypes there's the fairy deck and then there's the ghost deck i, I can you can only a play set in this game is two i can only somewhat play the ghost deck and that just oh that bites man um yeah like i said hopefully the single most market picks up for this game but i will do some starter deck fights um like share subscribe uh see you guys next time